Hey everyone, George here. So I checked out Images I Hate This Place from writer Kyle Starks, illustrator Archeon Toplin, and colorist Lee Lawfridge. And here's an overview of the book. The story opens in the woods with a con man double-crossing his team, and before he can kill his accomplice, some kind of tentacle or tendril slices through the guy's head, and then the con man who betrayed his team flees before the tentacle tendril can grab him. We then cut to a ranch as a couple, Gabby and Trudy, are moving in. The ranch was inherited after the great aunt and uncle passed away. While moving in, they discover a mysterious soundproof room with videotapes everywhere. Things quickly turn very weird for the couple as Gabby is awakened from sleep by a disturbance with their cows. She goes out in the middle of the night to inspect only to be touched by some sort of spectral figure or a ghost. She then has some kind of manic episode and Trudy finds her curled up inside the house and pointing outside at, at ghost-like beings literally right outside their glass door. They then discover a tape that says, watch me, and it's her great-grandmother informing her they are now in some kind of weird twilight zone with no escape. The next morning, Trudy packs up to leave, but Gabby convinces her to stay. The story ends with the introduction of these ranch hands who are supposed to help them with the ranch. And then the final page reveals that the psychotic killer from the beginning of the story is now posing as one of the ranch hands. So as someone who loves the weird and the supernatural, I really dug this first issue. There was a really strong setup with a lot of strangeness to dive into. And I'm really hoping we get answers to those and about what's going on here at this weird place. Because I'm honestly not sure what's going on. It's just hard to say if it's aliens or it's aliens, ghosts, and mythical woodland creatures. This story really throws everything at you and the kitchen sink in terms of weirdness. So I definitely love that about this issue. I honestly felt like the story didn't even need a psycho killer. There's plenty of intrigue with the house and just the overall weirdness, but I am wondering how the psycho will play into this story. I also really enjoyed the dialogue and the banter between the couple. They felt very real and relatable. I also love their contrasting personalities. Gabby's a bit of a free spirit, hippie kind of person, and Trudy is a realist, doomsday prep kind of person. I definitely feel this sense of dread for them because when they're watching the tape, the great aunt tells them some very bleak information about their future and flat out says, don't let the ghost touch you, which already happened to Gabby. So I hope this is followed up on in the following issues. I also like that at the end of the issue, we get a letter from the writer sharing some info on the story. So I definitely enjoyed this first issue, the characters, the mystery, and especially the weirdness. The art is quirky and definitely fits with the story, and I also thought the bright, saturated colors complemented the artwork. This was another solid image first issue, and I'll be back to read more. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.